G'day guys, this is another flipper video. We're going to wire up a BN180 GPS onto a piece of Vera board to use the application, uh, the GPS application by EZOD, I think it is, uh, on GitHub. So we go to applications, tools, I think it is on this one. I think if you just have unleashed, it is in GPIO. Whereas I have a newer version downloaded um, off EZOD's repository and it's in tools on mine uh, GPS and you can see there's no data here but um, this is its interface. So we're going to build ourselves a nice little module, plugs in on top. I will build it so it sits like this. The tracks are going this way, so it'll sit that way. Uh, we'll move it over a little bit, probably that way. Move it over a little bit, and then we'll double side tape our GPS module this way, so the antenna is sitting up, and we should be pretty good. We're going to start off with our header pins and we're going to measure up to from 3.3 volts to RX because our unit here only requires four pins what only has four pins on the plug and if we have a look here this is our harness we need 3.3 volts a ground and then a data transmit and receive so here, I want to limit that to only those pins right there. And we'll double check that, pushing that in there. And now our board here, a piece of Vera board or proto board, we want to line it up and then mark where I want to cut it, which will be there. It's easiest if you cut along where the holes are on these boards and you can use a knife, or it's not the best of knife, it's a bit rusty and seized. But you can use a knife to cut the board and you just score it multiple times along here. And just keep scoring to you bit de decent enough so I don't damage my table or we'll get this book down. And then should just be a case of perfect Vera board. I'll just trim a couple of them back. Done. <clears throat> if I actually leave that book there, it's uh, helping with getting the light right, isn't it? That's our GPS module. Our Header pins are here somewhere. There's our loom. What did I do with my header pins? They're still in my flipper. That's why I can't find them. And this here, we want to mount like that. So if we mark here where we want to mount, I can pull this out. And safely solder it without the need for the flipper to be connected to it. We do not want to be soldering with the flipper being connected to the headers. Okay. Yeah, we just want to do one, make sure the pins are straight, which in this case they're certainly not. And then if we 
don't hold on to the pin that you're soldering but if you hold the ones next to it and just heat it up when you're pushing it down it'll straighten up like that perfectly straight now just solder all the rest of them in <clears throat> Try to do a better job soldering than this. So remember on our flipper, this will plug into here. So this pin here is our voltage. This pin here, nothing. Ground, nothing and these are our data pins so our red wire of course has to go to pin 1 here <clears throat> let's trim that wire a bit, a bit long pin 1 and of course because everything is tinned it's just a case of heating it up with the soldering iron and it's attached ground to the ground and our RX data from the GPS unit needs to go to here to our TX data and our TX data needs to go to our RX data Just like that. And we plug our GPS unit in. And I just want to use a little bit of double sided tape just to hold the GPS unit there and the loom here. So I've got some double sided tape here. So some on the back of the GPS. You want the antenna sitting up because if it's too close to these metal tracks, it'll actually cause interference and will not pick up a GPS signal. Um, and one more little bit of double sided tape just for the wiring. So keep this wiring in place. It's not perfect, but it's certainly usable. Let's see what it does on our flipper. Okay, Let's see what happens. Tools, GPS. It's not saying zeros anymore. And it's saying that there's some data. I last had a fix at some stage. Um, I'm not seeing any lights on here, which is a bit concerning. These GPS units have some lights. 
which light up when there's power. This blue one should be flashing and PPS should be flashing red when it's got GPS lock. So I don't know. Might just have to leave it running for a little bit and come back to it. See if it's got a lock. Okay, so I'm back at it now and it appears that my GPS unit that I had in it was faulty and eventually all data stopped working and so I've swapped out the GPS unit for a different one and now we can see our pretty blue light flashing as well as um, I can see regular data in my GPS app. So I'll load this up here. Where is it? GPS. Now this one I don't think I had a fix before yet, so we're not going to see a last fix. Uh, but eventually you will get a lock. We'll leave it and see what happens. So I've had this running for a few minutes, and you can see now we have got a lock. Actually, I'll blur this out so you can't see my location. But you'll see that speed's got a number, altitude's got a number, and I've got satellites on here. And the last time a fix, which is actually, uh, it is 9.48 p.m. at the moment. So there you go. That's the current time when last received an update. Um, altitude, speed, and there's data. You have to believe me that there's data in there. And you can see here our red light is flashing as well. And there you go. My flipper with the GPS module. Thank you to EZOD for the, uh, the wonderful FAP. It's working quite well, even for uh, the Bison modules. I'm guessing any NM NMEA. Um, GPS modules will work fine for this. So, excellent. Uh, and this is running on the Unleashed firmware. It should also work on Rogue Master as well. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and um, we'll watch the next one.